Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, uh, I would like to show you how I improved my productivity, uh, switching from Windows 10 to elementary OS. So um, as everyone knows, Windows 10, Windows 10 is the most one of the most advanced OS, and it offers lot of applications. And it's best for gaming, uh, programming, video editing, and lot more. So the reason I have switched from Windows 10 to elementary OS is I'm using a very old laptop. So right now it's not the issue with the OS, but the issue is with my laptop. So I purchased this laptop in. 2015 uh, back in those days it was the uh, one of the high configuration laptop I, uh, with I, uh, I was able to play a um, lot of most advanced games at that time like GTA 4 um, Assassin's Creed and etc without any lag I was able to play those games and I had no issues at the time but you know days changing and now we have Windows 10 as a most advanced uh, operating system compared to 2015 uh, when I when I got uh, Windows 8.1 as an installed version with, along with the laptop at that time. Now Windows 10 is most advanced compared to 2015. You know, six years has passed and. My hardware is not able to support that so that is the reason um, I I was exploring different options to boot my uh, I mean boost my productivity uh, whereas uh, with Windows I was not able to do so so that is why uh, I have made few. I have explored some uh, some of the options in the net, and I found out that elementary OS is bit faster than Windows. So this is the elementary OS website. So this is the uh, this is one of the Linux distros. Uh, I'm not sure what happens in the background, but when I see, when I compare Windows 10 and elementary OS, elementary OS is pretty fast. Um, of course, the elementary OS does not have a lot of applications as Windows, and Windows you have a lot of background applications running, and you know, it's most advanced uh, version. But my laptop doesn't support that. So the best option, I mean one of the best option is to upgrade my laptop to you know, most advanced uh, laptop as of now. But as of now, I am not planning to upgrade it. So I was exploring few options in the internet and uh, I also reformatted Windows 10. Uh, but still I can see there are few uh, issues with that uh, my lab hardware is not able to run it properly and also the amount of heat it releases from the vent you can simply you know dry your hair you can use it as a hair dryer that much of heat is it is releasing so I found few articles and also read few reddit artic uh, reddit posts and found that Elementary OS is fast, uh, and you can see even uh, there. Th this is their selling point. They say that the OS is fa fast, open, and privacy respecting OS. So, so I thought to give it a try, and I found that um, even the fan speed or the amount of heat the laptop generates has reduced drastically. So now I can't uh, dry my hair with it. So, right. So, um, 
so this is the elementary os i am using as of now you can see uh, there is a dock on the top you can see power button battery button battery um bluetooth wifi everything right just a normal uh, every uh, osb default option you can see and also you can see the calendar over here and you can see the applications i have installed right so you can also the dock uh is at the bottom right okay you have an app center files settings photos videos music calendar mail uh, chrome and you have a multitasking view, uh, view as well right you can switch tabs of course even you have that option in windows 10 uh so this os is uh, working out for me very well and for my usage uh, this is uh, going well so i don't need to upgrade the laptop as of now so i use construct 3 uh, the game engine and also do um, video editing sometimes and do some live streaming and also sometimes i build my own graphics uh, and sometimes i work on small scale uh, you know node js applications so back uh, windows 10 is not at all productive for me like i said it's not the issue with the os it's the issue with the hardware so i'm saying it again and again because people who hear it might treat might think that i am complaining about windows 10 which is very good os right so um, in this uh, up in this os i was able to um record video at the same time uh, and also work on construct 3 along with that and sometimes i can i can even rec- uh, edit the video set it for rendering and watch youtube videos in high definition or develop video games so it's working very well so when i was using um, windows 10 it was very difficult to do multitasking oops oh uh, this is spelling mistake so it was difficult to do multitasking and um, i was not even able to play my own games right so um, so this video is not for probably not for everyone uh, this is for people who are one i mean uh, team with one or two people or maybe less than three people or uh, less than or equal to three people and who works independently and may not have proper funds to upgrade their systems um, but still they are enthusiastic to develop few applications um, probably this video will suit you well because i am in the such same situation i am not able to upgrade um, my system as of now but uh, with this os um, i was able to perform much better right so basic things for a developer everything i'm able to do it and i'm not sure what happens in the background but um, this is much better for me and i'm sure people who are uh, who have proper funds obviously they can go for mac os or windows os it's up to you it's your choice and um also i have thought to install ubuntu first but uh, i watched few videos i took uh, read few reviews and find out that elementary os is much faster than ubuntu my might be wrong you can let me know in the comments also um, elementary os is um, design wise is much better than ubuntu 
so I'll, I like the way it looks you can see the applications over here we have screen recorder screenshot I can you have terminal and visual studio code I have installed it um, Chrome OS also I have installed it and OBS Kden live these things I have installed them so AD AD um, you can download it from the app store this is the app center uh, it is you you can use it uh, for installing the Debian files uh, before that you cannot install Debian files directly but once you install AD you will be able to double click a file and install it right um, also uh, we have basic applications like calculator calendar camera and you can also code so you have system settings everything so we, all the basic things you have in this I think this would be much very much sufficient for any small scale or you know startups who have a lot of enthusiastic to develop applications but do not have proper funds to invest on right so these are my few of my games uh, if you are interested you can go to shepherdgames.each.io and you can find graphics I have developed uh, games I have developed and also there are few games I uh, provided for licensing you can download them and use it for uh, I mean you can export it to any of the uh, Android, iOS, web, desktop or Facebook platforms I am providing the source code and all the source codes are from Construct3 so you will need to have Construct3 subscription in order to make modifications uh, to the build but if you don't have if you don't want to purchase uh, the subscription you can reach out to me and this is my comment um, this is my contact contact at shepherds.com you can reach out to me I can help you with the customization as well all right so uh, this video is not um, intended to give you pure review about elementary OS is just uh, I thought to sharing few thoughts of um, having a better productivity using the old laptop I'm sure many um, developers like me uh, this video might be helpful for them so I'd just like to show you how to download elementary OS um, and install on your laptop so just a brief thing I would like to show you and then we can I will sign off then it's up to you how do you want to go ahead it's completely up to you all right so So I kept a copy of Windows 10 as well just in case if I want to use it for any other purpose I kept the copy so I split that drive into four parts four uh, local storage parts and one of them contains Windows and one of them contains elementary OS uh, so I, I'll just show you how it is done and you can make a decision on whether to switch it or um, you know have both OS at the same time my recommendation would be better to have Windows OS uh, as well as elementary OS by having uh, by having them on the same laptop in different uh, different drives because sometimes if you want to switch to uh, Windows 10 if you want to test your applications uh, or sometimes few editing softwares are only available on Windows 10 and if you have a favorite software and it doesn't support elementary OS then it is better to have 
Windows 10 as well. Right, so uh, first uh, let us go to the elementary OS website. So, this is the website and you can see you have different options how much you want to pay. Uh, you can also choose custom option if you if you can't support them as of now maybe you can enter 0 and you can download it. So, to save time I have, I have already downloaded the elementary OS. Okay, so, uh, this is the OS, so I have downloaded it already. Uh, now, we have to make a bootable pen drive. So, for that we have something called Rufus. You can also do in command line, uh, command prompt, but if you are uh, not sure how to do it, it is better you download Rufus. Okay, so, this is Rufus and you can download it from here. So, even this I have downloaded it, yes, I have installed it as well. Let me check. Right. Okay, first uh, select the partition OS, I mean the iOS build, I am sorry, I, ISO file. So, okay, so let us go to the ISO file, right, so this one, elementary OS 5.1. Okay. Insert the pen drive and it auto detects the pen drive and partition scheme would be MBR, do not change it. Target system is BIOS or UEFI. So, in the modern uh, laptops, it is UEFI, but do not change it, uh, let it um, let it be. So, go with the default settings and you can uh, change the name of the pen drive, it is up to you, I am not changing anything. So, click on start. Okay, that is fine. Okay, so, you can see uh, there are only three uh, partitions um, on Windows OS, whereas it is actually four partitions and the, th the fourth one is actually allocated to elementary OS. So, that is the reason and it uh, and it does not, uh, I mean, I, it does not have the uh, drive alphabet allocation. So, that is why you will not see uh, the fourth drive, but if you go to disk partition, you can see that here uh, there is 100 GB of uh, disk partition. So, this uh, disk partition 5 was allocated to elementary OS. So, I have given 100 GB for ele elementary OS. So, uh, you can also do that uh, by simply clicking on any of the uh, partitions and you can shrink the volume. 
and once you shrink the volume uh, you will get an unallocated space click on simple volume and allocate the storage and leave it ok let us see whether it is done ok so once you split the uh, um, drive then we will be able to use that partition for installing elementary OS also you will have to change few BIOS settings uh, from UEFI to the legacy boot settings otherwise uh, the laptop by default considers Windows OS only so whenever you want to switch back to Windows OS again you will have to redo uh, what you have done with the BIOS settings you have to switch back to UEFI Right, so now Windows OS, yeah, no, uh, I reformatted uh, my laptop completely. I uh, the old applications were removed, but still, I can I, I get lot of heat from the vent uh, when I play even YouTube videos of high definition. Uh, the laptop hangs, so it's not very. Uh, good or convenient for me for developing games I hope this video will be helpful to you and also please forgive my English uh, I am not a native English speaker so you might find my accent or English not up to the mark um, but I am still trying to improve uh, my English but probably in few upcoming videos it might reach your expectation but um, please adjust for now that's all I can ask ok we are done with the boot setup now we will have to restart the laptop uh, let me stop recording and I will switch to mobile recording to show you the bio settings alright so I will restart my laptop restart so when it restarts uh, press F2 rapidly so that you will get to bias settings even restart it takes some time probably for the latest laptops um, the booting is much faster but uh, my laptop is pretty much slow Right, I got it this time. Okay, so these are bio settings. Now go to boot disable secure boot switch to legacy and press F10 save changes X so once you reload or restart it will automatically capture your pen drive and go to elementary OS installation so you will just need to select the 100 GB drive and install the OS that's all as simple as that 
and once it is done with the installation when it restarts so when it restarts you just need to remove the lab, uh, remove the usb i mean the pen drive so i'm not going to show you uh, the procedure for elementary os uh, i'm sure there are a lot of tutorials for that because i have already installed elementary os i don't want to re replace it again So that is it. Uh, this is elementary OS and my experiences with it, and probably can consider as tip or not useful or useful. It's up to you. Uh, but if even if it is useful for one person, I will be very glad. And let me know what you think in the comments so that uh, I can improve my videos and yeah, I mean upcoming videos don't hesitate to give me feedback so I always get feedback to improve myself improve my games or improve my work right all right then so I'll sign off for today uh, that's all for this video we'll meet you in the next video until then take care goodbye thank you